Happy Saturday, fabulous people. How are we? Uh, what a gorgeous day it is today. Um, pretty incredible. Um, I'm just seeing I'm going live. I know that. Um, how are you? Um, whoops, accept. And I'm lagging again. Mr. Adam Struggle. Hello, everybody. Hi, Eva. Hi, Kim. Hi, Griff. Hi there. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Hey, what a beautiful day. Anybody here in Sydney? What we've got the best day? Yes. I should say welcome back. What was that? Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Yes. Remember? Hey, you Laddie? Been weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm back. I've been very naughty. I've been hiding out, letting Adam take over. Poor Adam. He's fine. Okay, guys. Um welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, happy Saturday, fabulous people, to our 45th and final episode for 2021. Would you believe it? Uh, well, we can go, we can go on, yes, it is, because the first is next year, which is New Year's Day. Does anybody want to watch Design a Rest of Remedy on New Year's Day? Maybe, but it is our final for the year. Who the thunk? So, Welcome to our 45th episode of our last show of the year for Design and Rescue Remedy. Is your renovation in need of resuscitation? Is your renovation in need of resuscitation? Do your curtains have COVID? Does your domicile need an injection of deliciousness? <laughs> Fear not, we're here to help you rescue your space. And joining me is my fabulous little design bestie, our delicious, delightful, but ever so naughty, Mr. Adam Scoogorn. He's one of Sydney's top interior designers, and I'm Jane Thompson. I'm another designer, and we are here to help you rescue your space. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, everybody else. All these great people that are joining us today. Look at all these. Maybe they don't like me. They think they like you better because more came on this week quickly. Yeah, you're, you're shit, darling. I'm shit. <laughs> no, you're not. You're Let's fabulous. Who's shitter? <laughs> <laughs> Who's better? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to laugh through this. Oh, it's tragic, isn't it, darling? Oh, don't be silly. I think everybody's just probably over Christmas and they're just going, I might watch something silly on Instagram. So, darling, <laughs> how are you? What's going I'm on? I'm good, I can't darling. wait to see what you've oh, done. Darling. Well, oh, darling. Uh, I got a love heart from, from lovely Greer, who's my, my um, mate. And then I've got Cassa Flair saying we love you, Adam. I feel so much better. What about me, Cassa? What about Auntie Jane? <laughs> 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 Whatever. Um, sweetheart, uh, number one, you're fabulous. We all know that. Um, are you excited to show us what you've got today? And would you like to tell the guys what we do and why we do it? Look, my hair's awful. Anyway, um, come on, darling. Designer Rescue Remedy. So we are, I don't know whether Jane, I don't know, if, did we mention it's 45 weeks we've been going? So what we do yes. every week, Casa Flair loves you too, darling. Oh. What we do every week is we make over rooms for you. So if you n know anyone or if you haven't used this service and you'd love to use it, designerrescueremedy.com, you'll have to type it into the URL. There's no search engine on that baby, but you can submit your photos and bits and bobs on there. Um, and we will, you'll be, you could be a winner on the show, depending on how quickly you get your bum moving and you send us the stuff. <laughs> We're done for the year, but um, I'm super excited about this week. More than any, any other week. I <laughs> but you'll learn more about that from Janie. Um, but yeah, guys, if you find a rescue remedy.com, if you want to ask us a question, info at designer rescue remedy.com, if you just uh, uh, bloody lazy and just want to say, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Because we're bloody lazy. No, we're not. We're fantastic. Yeah, guys, look, it's um, whatever. If you're looking for an, if you're looking for a new um, house and you're looking to buy and you're wondering what to do with that room and you just can't get your head around it, send us the images and we can help you. And it may, may be the decision between you not buying or buying. Uh, oh. If you're just wondering what to do with the room and you just have no idea, just ask us. It doesn't mean you've got to do it, but you can just get another opinion on something. 
So, you know, it's this is what we're here for. And it's totally free. What? How crazy yeah. is that? It's free. There's nothing. You don't, our own, your only payment is to follow that guy, follow me, follow Designer Rescue Remedy. Woo. So that's it. That's it, guys. So let's get rolling, darling. What have you got for us today, sweetheart? Let's see uh, Adam's design and then there's something very exciting happening. So you've got to wait and watch. It's very exciting. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got Kelly and Ross today. I'm just opening up my little bits and bobs. So the brief from Kelly and Ross, guys, and Janie, um, what are the three main issues? I'll just read through it. It's really the living room needing a makeover, not bringing us any joy anymore. We've got the black and white pattern chairs. I'll show you the picture in a second. About six years ago, which we liked and added some art as well, but I've never really felt like this room worked. So this is just one angle. It's a, she just wants to touch up this sort of entertainment. Well, she really wants to do the whole living room. Touch but it up. <laughs> touch it up, Sorry. yeah. Um, now, it's quite a high wall there and there's a TV mounted to the wall. But um, Kelly and Ross want, uh, I mean, I've got, I, I just, uh, this week it's just one view, guys, just so you're getting the entertainment television wall, whatever you want to call that. But overall, you can see they've had <laughs> occasionals black and white. Hey, Concepts by Gavin. Um, Merry Christmas to you, darling. Concepts yeah. by Gavin Hepper, another amazing interior designer. You should go and check him out. But come here first. <laughs> yeah. <Gavin>. So um, <laughs> anyway, so that's what I, that's what we're doing. So yeah, the brief is it was kind of a black and white look there, and they've done a some sort of journey. I don't even know what it is, and they haven't mentioned what it is. It's it's like a wallpaper or paint treatment on the wall. It's it's. Doesn't really stand out. Where do they live? Hawthorne, Victoria. Colours they don't like. Orange. Colours liking. Orange, blue, green. I like most bright colours. This is Kelly. If they work together in the room. Love black and white style also. also but I dislike soft pastel colours or white, white, white. I'm a colour girl. Okay, well, that's fun. Design. Your alley, darling. Yeah, design vibe is sort of just relaxed, fun living. Maybe we should introduce more of a coastal influence without going totally coastal, but it has to definitely be contemporary modern. I want to spend about six or seven K. So I've got some other photos. I mean, to be honest with you, Kelly and Ross, it's looking a little bit like it needs some TLC. And I am also going to uh, see, this is what they've done. They've sort of done a black and white theme with those chairs, which are heavily patterned in a black and white sort of graphic print. Then they've added mm -hmm. some art there, which brings in a bit of green and blue. But the thing for me, guys, is, yeah, the one thing that is always good for anyone, they might keep this sofa. Okay. The one thing that's good for anyone to do is to start off with a vision, and that should be a vision of three colours. So if you want to introduce colour, even if you're a black and white person, then it can be black and white and then you're going to add leafy green and lots of beautiful plants or you might add tan leather to the cushions or you might do something like that. But have a theme. This doesn't really have a theme to me. It's kind of here, there, everywhere. Um, one thing I want to say with total respect and, and um, because I come across this and, Jane, I know you do too, honey. Sometimes we come in... And I've seen a few photos and it's hard to get through some of the clutter that's around that we just accrue. Like I accrue, I accrue clutter and I have to proactively try and remove it from my life. So I go through this purge a lot of the time and I'm very brutal. So um, you've sent me some other photos too, Kelly and Ross, about there's the kitchen. And I notice there's a lot of stuff you've got to purge. So there are people out there that can help you with that. Um, I know it's a highly personal thing, but just just before you start trying to do anything, you've got to clear the space of all the stuff around. You've got heaters in the room that are just sort of wound up. You're not using them. Um, this is a recent photo. We're not. It's not cold. It's a gas heater. It's still there. You might want to have a storage space or go to the garage and pull stuff away. Jane? Sorry, darling. And and we say this with no judgment because we're all the same. No, I'm the same. I've got junk that I have to... <laughs> It, it piles up, especially in my garage, and I've got to remove it. It's just human nature. But the one thing I want to say is you, you must have a look sort of objectively at your space and think, how can I clean all this out, 
almost to, to empty room. The stuff that I don't need every day, and you don't need a gas heater there at the moment, guys, that needs to go in the garage or you just need to move it out. Don't think you're going to refresh and keep all that stuff. The, the top of your entertainment unit needs to be clear and you've got stuff in there. I think there's books and there's stuff in there. So you clean it all out first. Then my vision is if you want sort of a contemporary coastal without it being coastal and, you know, real pastiche of coastal, then do something like this. You said you've got six or seven K. You'll probably move over that if you, um, I would change the sofa. I don't like black leather sofas. Uh, as a rule, I think they, they suck the life out of the room and I would change that. But do the best you can with it. You could you could wallpaper that whole tall wall. No, yeah. in. This paint wouldn't be too expensive at all. I think to wallpaper that one wall, it might be kind of, I don't know, Janie, it's it's just it's uh, maybe $1,500 or... Yeah, all up yeah, with labour and everything. Cool. Yeah. With labour. Thing. That is a freedom entertainment unit where you can pull the doors open and close them. Um, so it just gives you the ability to, you know, for your, for your electrical to, anyway, that's about um, 1800 wide. If you don't have a lot of money on entertainment unit stuff, the other thing I think is a great idea is to use IKEA lac shelves. And what I've done is I've just, I've, I would mount the TV properly first get rid of the cord hanging from the bottom of it fly, that's that's in the air, sort of not attached to anything. Do a channel if you've got a concrete wall or get an electrician to actually mount it up so you don't have cords running out. It should be behind. So get that done properly, um, the TV, and, and drop it. At the moment, it's too high. Um, get a new entertainment unit. The white one's a bit too low and, and a bit kind of dated. Get something like this, darling, with a bit of wood tone for a bit of warmth. Do the wallpapering. The IKEA lac shelves, to get back to that, they're 900, the longer ones, on the side of that television. They can be mounted. They are cheap. Like, Actually, it's not IKEA. It's the shelving shop. IKEA didn't have the right sizes. So they're about 59 for the bigger ones and about $39 for the smaller ones, which are about 600 And just get IKEA frames and maybe pieces from West Elm, little, little um, white sort of vases, chuck a palm leaf in or a bit of greenery um, and, and use Ikea frames and then frame, pick a colourway. So I found this occasional chair. I've used it before from Oz Design. Um, it's got um, teal blue and orange in it. So if it was teal blue and orange, um, you know, I might use those as my main colours and then just to print off some prints in, teal, in orange and, and blue and put them in frames, get them done at Office Works. They're cheap. And just sort of um, have this sort of, I don't know, pyramid, triangular sort of form as you accessorise those. Not pyramid, triangle, half triangle. <laughs> as you accessorise the open shelves. But that's a cheap way to fill out the wall space because you've got a lot of wall space there. You can keep your Arco lamp, which is still fun and funky. Everyone needs a poof in their life and there's a, a tangerine <laughs> leather poof. You've got a few hanging around you, Janie. Um, then you, you, you can your life that. will fit my life. Well, you've got a few done. <laughs> I don't want to name names. But then you can choose that occasion. You need a couple of them. And a uh, little, little uh, tulip side table, darling, might be a little flash of luxe, sort of, you know, contemporary. And if you wanted a sofa, um, six or seven, you're going to exhaust that. There's a rug from the rug establishment as well. It's in a teal. It's called the Glitz Rug. Something in a steel, you know, that teal grey, mm -hmm. blue, something like that. Get away from the blacks. Um, you know, black and white's a hard one to do. You've got to be kind of very minimal and not, it's, it's, it's a hard, sometimes a difficult look to pull off unless you're really skilled. But use some colour. If you want the coastal, that's sort of a way to have a fun sort of coastal vibe. I think I threw some coral in there, darling. Um, that's, there you go. That's my, my um, direction for you today. And I hope you like it. But... Um, Definitely, you've got to start off with a clean slate. Not Make sure that you bring the new stuff in and then really think before you start to put anything that was in there before that doesn't need to be there. That's it, love. Yeah, fantastic, darling. I love, I love that you've done a coastal look because it does, you know, when I looked at that, it looked really relaxed. I felt relaxed. It's casual. The blue wallpaper gives the, the sorry, the teal gives texture. Which which is yeah. kind of coastally, you know, the sand and, yeah. but it's not con it's not contrived, you know. A lot of yeah. people do very contrived things, and I think 
this is what real design is about. It's not going the, the same route as everybody else. It's being eclectic. You use some different chairs to give them that, that look. It's, it's a lovely lived in look. It looks like it's evolved. So darling, I, I love that. And uh, that chair, I, I couldn't find any chairs like that. That's awesome with a fabric that's not plain. Very good, Dan. I love it. And the other thing, very I happy. recover the ones they've got. It'd probably be cheaper. Those chairs are about seventeen ninety nine. I mean, oh, it might yeah. be to redo the ones they have if they yeah, found new fabric. That's kind of yeah. it's a task. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a task, and it's it's a bit. But of you might. Be but having said that, I know this is not your, your your jam, darling. But you know, in environmentally, it's, it's a, a good bit. thing to do. Yeah. What's not like? Oh, I know whenever I talk friendly. about sustainability and shit, you go, oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, God, darling, that's totally wrong. Don't tell the public that. <laughs> I need right. Brain. Say again in English, darling, sorry. What was that? I do believe I think you should definitely be sustainable. Don't listen to Jane. The chairs should be recovered uh, rather than end up in landfill. So just, just yeah. don't scrub. Yeah. Look, and another cheaper way of doing it is to get a, a, a slip cover made. They're a That's little bit great cheaper. Option. That's a That's really a great good. option because That's... then it's, yeah, much cheaper. And then get any fabric. And often you can get beautiful outdoor fabrics now that look like indoor fabrics and they're actually cheaper and they, they, they feel yeah. and, and behave like Real fabric, so it's like we, you know, it's a it's a win win. Darling, love that, and uh, you always come up with something fabulous. Today, it's my turn now. Today, I'm a little bit nervous because, guys, I'm actually doing Adam's new place. Well, it's not his new place. Adam has a rental property that he's rented out for years, and he's decided to move back in. To, to live there for a while, he'll probably flip it. But as all designers, I don't know about you, Garen, uh, Garen, Gavin Hepar and any other designer watching, it's always hard to do your own, your own space, to do your own crib. Mm. It's, it's like, because you, you, you kind of have, you, you're so used to doing so many things for other people, you kind of forget, you know what you, your vibe is, but it's, it's trying, to, trying to nail it because you always feel like you're going to be judged because we're interior designers. People come in and go, oh, I thought this would be better. And you go, oh, fuck off. <laughs> but anyway, um, do you want to answer that yes. question before you do the, the room or not? Yeah, yeah. Um, Cam Camille, um, yes, there are. There's a guy called, oh, I'll think of it in a minute. He's done a lot for me over the last, uh, John Puddick, Josh Puddick. Now, darling, I will send you, I will put it up on our feed, his details. He is amazing. And he comes to your home and does a, a template and he's reasonable. And I, I would suggest doing it in a washable fabric. So that's the idea of slip covers. So darling, I hope that's helped. I will have the details up for you later. Um, anyway, getting on with Adam's room. Sorry, darling, yeah. The design. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm so nervous. No pressure. no pressure. Oh, I know. So no pressure. Okay. So Adam has this great apartment. It's quite a, a, a large one bedroom for, for, for one bedrooms. Uh, pleasure, darling. Pleasure, Camille. Happy it's to not... help. Um, well, it, it is. The it's not end. like if you're going to some one bedrooms now, they're 50 square metres. They're tiny. Yours is bigger than that. I think yours is built in the late 80s, 90s, something like that. It doesn't matter. Or 70s, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so Adam is very, Adam's got amazing eclectic taste. So what he wants to do is to, he said, look, Janie, I, I would like to just get rid of the colour. So darling, what I've done, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you in a minute. So we're just going to get rid of that. Uh, hun, what I would do uh, eventually is put some engineered flooring down, saying a lovely herringbone, something like that. That'll look gorgeous in a, you know, mid-tone to light, light oak or something like that. Um, so Adam loves, he loves eclectic, he loves British Raj, he loves greens, blacks, 
whites. He loves paisley. Loves paisley. <laughs> um, what else do you You're not putting me down. No, I love paisley, but I very hard to find pre-made cushions in paisley. <laughs> um, but as you can imagine, his standards are pretty high, so that's why I'm freaking out. In the meantime, I will show you a couple of shots of Adam's lips. So today I'm tackling his can I just living room. Place? Yes. This is a rental property I've had for, since 2007, so I had no intention of moving into it. Because it needs a reno, though, I'm going to do a, a, a uh, yeah. I haven't been in this place for 13 years. These photos are from the other day. Mm. It, so he's going to do it up while he's there. He's going to furnish it and then flip it eventually. So this is what's going on. So that is the lounge entry and a door out to the uh, balcony. Okay, mm. and you can see that there's a... Actually, I don't mind that colour. It's kind of like a grape. I'd call that grape. I think it's... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think it's right for your space though, darling. And this is looking at the space right. where I think I'm, I'm going to see the end there. So that's the space I'm going to be dealing with, darling. Um, and there's one more shot. Oops. And this is looking, and this is a space I think you could do amazing stuff. I haven't tackled this today, darling, but I think you could do amazing little kind of reading nook, library wall, something like that in there, beautiful console. I think you could do some amazing stuff. And as I said, it's always hard when you look at your own space because you're so used to, I guess, getting into everybody else's head that it's really difficult. Anyway, I'll shut up, darling. Oh. Yes, do that. Greer said, could you oh, do Greer, I'm gonna What do a it. good idea. What a good idea. I'm going to do it, darling. That's a good That's idea. That's a great idea, Greer. You clever girl. Darling. It's not exactly, but this is my vibe. So, wow. Page. Oh, wow. So, darling, what I've thought now, I'm going to be reusing Adam's uh, white sofa. That's what he wanted to reuse. He wants to use that beautiful artwork. Oh, sorry, it's a, it's a beautiful photograph by. A lady, I can't remember her name. Who is it, darling? By an Australian uh, Somali. Helen actress. White. Oh. Helen White. Yeah. Okay. Helen. Yeah, got it. Um, darling, so what I've done, I've got these little chairs. Oh, my God, you know, I'm having... Oh, and we're reusing his coffee table as well. Um, so, Han, what I've done is I've gone by your brief. I couldn't find any paisley cushions that were reasonable. But so, darling, what I've done is I've got some beautiful little green velvet um, side chairs. And by the way, you've got a you have a budget of five k. So wow. yeah, so these little chairs are eight hundred and one dollars or something, which I thought was great value. Off the top of my head, I'm sorry, darling, I can't remember where they're from, but it will be in the feed. Um, I've got a beautiful pendant by the Sago Palm, which I, you've really got to get. That's got to go in the corner, darling. Obviously, this looks a bit bigger because I've got to show everything. Um, and the, one side of the sofa, though, like it's, it's actually flipped. I don't know if I could put the sofa that way. Uh, no, don't, no, because it's flipped around the other side, darling. This is flipped. When when I show it like this, oh, look, it doesn't matter. We'll work oh, it oh, out. Oh, you know what, honey? You know what? Yes, yeah, sorry, you're right. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But you That's can, right. yeah. That's all right, sweetie. Um, so we've got, yeah. So, uh, I don't know, I can't remember where I was. The rug inexpensive i think that's from the rug uh, uh <laughs> rug establishment i can't remember it's about 1900 dollars, darling i think it's just over the um 5k there's a brass shelf up there that i thought you could put Ooh. all your beautiful black and white design books and there's a beautiful little bookend would you believe it from pottery barn that's so cool it's a little dog a uh, little bronze <laughs> dog on marble the, the lamp is from Emac and Lawton 
the side table, I can't remember, darling, but the cushions, I've got an amazing, that's a water hyacinth cushion. It's actually bigger than I've shown. It's about 700 square and it's water hyacinth. I've got a green velvet oh, cushion. Yummy. This cool, cool art palette cushion. It looks like an art palette in a boucle. I, I was going to say, where's that from? I love that um, one. It's from Sita. Sita Design. Okay. I've never heard of them and I found them. And I love that pen. It's a perforated pendant. I love the pen. It's a brass pendant. Love. And it's kind of, it, look, I, you know, we could have gone the whole British Raj look, but it's a little bit contrived. And I think you're a little bit more hip and happening than that. And I think when we find, when we find a lovely paisley, you can go and get a cushion made up. Okay. So again, darling, I hope, I hope you love. And guys, if you've just tuned in, this is a design I did for Adam for his rental. So, sweetie, I hope I you love it. it. You. Great. Can I ask you a tech question? Yes. Concrete ceiling. How am I going to do that pendant without? Well, you can. You can. You can always run a, um, a white conduit. Yeah. Yeah. Which you won't see because you've got a speckled. It's one of those, what do they call it? You know, in the 70s, they used to spray the ceilings and it was a cheap oh, way of being able to finish. Yeah, it's a spray. They used to bring it in in a huge pump and they pump it on the ceiling because it's cheaper than painting. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's that unit, I think. Yeah, so you've got that. No, you could do it, darling. It's easy, easy peasy. I'll take yeah. an electrician a couple of hours, but whatever. Um, so, darling, I, I was terrified. <laughs> it's a, it's a big, it's a big deal. And um, popcorn, yeah, almost. There is, uh, Greer, there is another word for it, and I can't remember. Uh, my dad, who's an architect, used to talk about it all the time, but I just can't it's remember. Like gravel, it's a weird. Thing. It's like gravel, and I got painters to paint. It used to be dreadful when I first got it. It was all grey and brown, and it was painted out probably thirteen years ago. But and it's, it's, it's popcorn. It's, 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 it's very hard to paint because it sucks all the painting. Yeah. So generally, if you've got yeah. those ceilings, you've got to spray it. You've got to spray it. High pressure of... spray paint. And you've got, to, you've got to, you know, just have the whole room cordoned yeah. off in plastic and protected. Mm. So, mm. so darling, I hope you love. Very good, love. Oh, hi, Dick. hi, Kathy Monroe, darling. How are you? Um, hi, Sammy Zhang. Who Zhang? I, I think I, if I've corrected, said that correctly. Darling, have you got a design plan for us, Barbara? Hang on, didn't I get three or four views? Ah. Do I just get one? What oh. are you talking about? My design. I just got one view, one more. Yeah. Oh, you I had time for bloody things. But darling, I'm going to help you do this the whole way through. Shut up. All right, you're forgiven. And I know you've been Thank busy. You. I, I was kind of here at midnight last night, just saying. Love it. What I love, can I tell you what I love about it? Please. You've done it for me. Honey, I just love the way, see, the thing is when you're, when you're someone who does some design, you, you just have still have your one idea, but when, you know, bouncing it around, I love your designs, darling, with the little light, you always do a little pendant or something that I'm not expecting. And that's what I loved about it. I, it's great not to have just that two lamps, two side tables and just boring, you know. So that's what I, it's, and I love the little, what are those, darling, can you get real ones of those, darling, with the plants? You know, I'm not into Yeah, yeah, Sago Palm, yeah. Like that. yeah. They're yeah. pretty cool, aren't they? Oh, they're amazing. They're what so are they different. Called? It's called a Sago Palm. Sago Palm. Yeah, and there's a different varieties, but you can get a real one. It'll probably cost you at that. It's it's probably darling. It'll probably cost you about a thousand bucks. But in the meantime, what you could do is get that planter, get a bigger planter, put a big. This is a tip for everybody. Put a huge, big vase in, like a, a plain one you can get from IKEA. And then what you do, you just get some huge leaves. You go into the bush of some weeds that are growing like palms or the weeds that are growing or go and buy them and shove them in there they'll last for weeks until you can afford it 
But I get a beautiful palm, and I think you've got not enough light coming in there. And then maybe once every couple of, probably once every three weeks, just take it out in the balcony, give it a, a water and some direct sunlight, and it, it'll be fine. The so, plants are never my place. But they're, they're, but they're telling when you know how to look after them, it's a no-brainer. Indoor plants are quite easy because generally most indoor plants are rainforest plants. Or if you go succulents, it's a, you just you, they, you treat them mean and keep them keen. You just you water them every couple of weeks. So it's fine, darling. It's right up your alley. My friend Peter, darling, they certainly must be treated mean because they don't end up keen. They die. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Did you want I'll to design? You how to do it. Just looking at the the time, darling. What it is, is um, glass uh, tops on leather, pleather, vinyl uh, padded tables or just glass tops on tables in general. I think they're naff and I think it, it's suffocating the look of it. Um, so it's the glass topped on vinyl leather. I don't like glass tops even on wooden tables where they're just right on top of it. Oh. Sometimes you got to. I'm sorry, darling. I'm I'm going to disagree with you for once. <laughs> you do it to me all the time. Uh, but um, look, I I get what you're saying. I think on that it looks hideous because it is hideous. That whole thing's hideous. Um, yes, I agree with you. To put to put glass on top of leather or pleather. Uh, I have done it when I've had say. A timber that's been untreated and you got kids. So what I've had to do sometimes, this is only for special clients that have children that destroy everything. I've actually got a glass top, especially those Uniqua cut timber where you've got the sticks. It's cut and I've done that to save save it from children. But I've, I agree with you wholeheartedly when you're talking about the leather and pleather mm. and putting a glass. What's the point? Yeah. There's no point. Put a tray. Why don't you just get a little tray and put your shit on it? You know, like, you know, to me that makes more sense. But, yeah, I agree with the leather and pleather and fabric. Let's get a cute tray. Yeah. Sorry, darling, I didn't. Anyway, I'll move on. <laughs> oh, here we are. Do you want to do in mine now? Yep. Okay. Feature walls are back in, by the way. They went out. Now, 2022, they're back in again. Uh, now, the problem is, with a feature wall, yeah, before I, I'll, I'll carry on before I get to, the, get to the crux of the matter and show you the uh, image. With feature walls, you're trying to make a feature out of something that there's really nothing there because it's a bit boring, right? But if you've, got, if you've already got a lot going on there, don't put a feature wall in. Don't, don't put a bright colour to highlight something that's already complicated because it looks stupid and all the rest of the joint is white, there's no point. And my point in case, and these are a feature wall, a feature section, you see that kitchen, there's so much shit going on in there, right? And then they've got the stripe wall. So they've got two feature walls in one horrible room. Pop-up toaster lounges, my puffy sofa, pop-up toaster sofas, the ugly, that ugly yellow which in commercial spaces looks great but not in a home like and that kitchen is vile why the hell guys what i'm saying don't do this guys if you've already got a lot going on if that kitchen that kitchen should have been just a i don't know black or off white or just continue that and do the other wall the other wall there with a the stripe wall just make that your feature wall to take away from the ugliness of your kitchen <laughs> so what a feature wall does it makes your eye, it pulls your eye towards it with a, with a boring space. And it, the great thing about feature walls is then you don't have to spend too much money on art and things like that. It's set as a background for a lovely piece or a couple of lovely pieces you've got and a plant. You can get away with murder and it saves you a lot of money. That's just a little tip. Um, but this, I'll show you a better room. Like I'm not saying this room is great. And I deliberately chose this because it's not, it's very, 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 very loud. 
and it's probably not something that people would would like but this is what i want it but it works so this was a big wall right i think it's a bit of fun this is a big wall and i've got one piece of art but see that wall because of that sofa needed it needed something and it probably you probably could have done it without well that wallpaper but it does work and everything relates back to that wallpaper and the art so if you know what i mean so feature walls really shouldn't be where you've got a whole lot of other crap going on it's a wall that needs for whatever reason if you walk into a room and that's your focal point you want to make that that uh, side of the room sing because you're going to walk straight into it. That's the reason why you do a feature wall. Not because just there's a bare wall and I need to do it. But don't do it. You can do it in kitchens, but not that kind of colour. That's just wrong. So the kitchen's already already busy enough. So you're better off painting the kitchen the colour and leaving the wall the same colour as the other wall, if that makes sense. But don't try and do that because it doesn't work. And you can disagree with me, darling, if you don't agree. But that's my, yep. I think the feature wall, if you're talking about patterned wallpaper, yeah, you don't need anything else. But if you just painted that wall in pink and didn't have anything else on it, I'd say start adding art. Yeah, but I still think if that artwork was bigger and because of all the colour down below in that lamp, you could have got away with it. But I think because it's such a big wall that mm. it needs... And it's actually sometimes cheaper and easier to do it in a, a feature colour. If you're just going to paint it, mm. I think if you do it in a darker pink or something like that, to me that, that and all the rest of the walls are white, that's your pop. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, that's, that's how I work. We all, as designers, and guys, you know, you're that's right. the way I work. And that's, that's the way how you... my brain thinks. Yeah. Said yeah. huh? your piece. Said my piece. I'll shut up, and then we'll we'll have to leave because we've been on a bit long today. Hey, Adam, what? I before wonder we go, what we've been on so long today. Nothing, darling. Do you want to tell people is... about your? Would you like to tell? Shut up and listen. Do you want to tell people about your course? Oh, the course. Oh, you know, darling, no, I don't, I don't want to tell them about the course yet. I want to tell them about our free opt-in. Oh, yes, yes. You've got one. I've got one. I shouldn't say free opt-in. That's just marketing speak. We've got guides. Jane and I have got fabulous guides. We've got to do this at the beginning of the show, Jane. We've got fabulous guides that you can download free guides. Mine's the wow factor. If you want to go to Adam Skoogl, www.adamskoogleonline, one word, dot Opt in, oh, oh no, it's wow factor online. Dot w -A -W hyphen factor. You can download it the three steps to wow factor in your home. It might be what you're thinking, but download it today. It's a, a lovely guide you can pick up straight away. You will be on my list and you will be communicating with me or me communicating with you frequently. But you can get mine by going to that link. And Janie's link is go to my website. Jane hyphen Thompson without a P, I can't afford one. So it's Jane hyphen Thompson dot com dot au and there's a pop up there and you just click on the pop up and you get my free ebook. It's and got some really cool tips. They, in they, it. Yours is amazing, your ebook. Very beautiful. Oh, so is yours, oh it's all right. And very comprehensive. <laughs> but you can download do another one. Guys, download Janie's at her website. It's very easy to see. It's really, it's fabulous. I love it. I've downloaded it. I've read through it. I think it's great. And mine is also great, darlings. So go to my website as well, adamskoogle.com or adamskoogleonline.wow-factor and you can grab it. Yes. I'll have to post, <laughs> post it on at the wall. Put it on the feed, darling. Put it on the feed. Yeah. Right. Guys. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for joining us through the last 45 weeks. We love what we do. Jenny, where we do is Santa hat? Say again in English. Where was your Santa hat? Oh, oh I don't know where it is. 
I should have had little, those stupid bloody Christmas earrings that I hate. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. I've got a stethoscope though. Here's my Christmas thing. Yeah, so darling, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, if, if, if you don't watch, we haven't got a show. Tell other people because we love what we do. It is for free. And by the way, guys, if you've got a charity that you'd like us to connect with to, to create a room for a charity, let us know because there's nothing better than doing, you know. Um, so let us know. If you ever need any questions asked, uh, hit us up. We are here for you. Have a beautiful Christmas, everybody. Adam, I'll be chatting to you after. So, but darling, have a fabulous Christmas anyway. We love you all, as Jeff Fennick says. Can't wait to see you in the new year. Lots of love from us. See you guys. Thank you for supporting us and jumping on each week. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris. Bye. Bye.